What's up everybody, Body Head Productions here. I see a lot of people talking about the possibility of a Gears of War Battle Royale mode in Gears 5. Obviously Battle Royale is the trend right now, Fortnite, PUBG, H1Z1, all that shit. Yeah, all that's still there and apparently it's still popular as fuck. I personally, I play Fortnite, it is a really fun game. And a lot of the best Fortnite players in the world came from playing Gears of War, or Halo, or Call of Duty, but they came from other games, and one of them is Gears of War. Back to the point though, Epic Games has developed something very special with their formula, where it feels like every time you play, there's a chance something special is going to happen. And obviously it's this huge cash cow cultural phenomena too. So with this cultural phenomena Fortnite's created, other games... Call of Duty, for example, are all trying to take after this Battle Royale mode. And so people start talking about Gears of War as if it's going to do the same thing. So we need to look at, would that work for it? What changes would Gears have to make? And is it even worth it? Because frankly, there's different target markets, and I think uh, they both kind of fall. Like Gears isn't a more mature target market. They're, the demographic they aim for is uh, a little bit older. But they still do have, you know, 16 through like 30 year olds playing the game. So, the number one thing that comes to mind is armor. In all these Battle Royale games, there's armor or shield, things like that. What would we pick up in Gears of War? There's never really been anything like that. It's always been the cog symbol as your health bar, redder it gets, your fuck. So, what would they do there? Would it be maybe a blue, maybe a blue cog symbol before the red symbol you know it would lead into it as soon as the red the as soon as the blue one goes full way lit it blows up like a little piece of glass and then the red one starts coming up showing your actual health bar i think that would be an option you can incorporate shield or armor doing that and then we get to the next thing is the weapons the rng the, the randomness of all this so is it going to be random spots or is the mortar always going to be at jacinto is there always going to be you know, fucking uh, two sets of snipers and a torque bow at the canals part of the map. Because I'm assuming we're combining all the best maps into one. So what I'm wondering is, is it going to be the normal weapon spawns? Or how are the weapons going to be placed? Is it going to be random? Is it going to be your knowledge of the maps? Your, your long-time knowledge of the maps paying off by knowing where each weapon is? Just a really good thing to think about right there. How will the weapons be placed? Where will you find them? And I think the, the most enjoyable part of the conversation is going to be which maps do we put in there, how do they connect, and what is the shape of this? Because it could that could be so much fun. Just, you know, like say down the block from the fuel depot is the, is the checkout station from Gears 3, and on that same block is Diner from Gears 4. Like there's a lot of ways you can incorporate other things. And, and in the backyard of that is, is a stream leading towards canals. You know, just combining the map with the Gears maps is one of the funnest parts of the thought of a Gears Battle Royale. Next, we got to think about the storm. Obviously, the Krill could be a very good use of the storm instead of having, you know, just a imaginary gas come in or some dumb shit like that. The Krill, it speaks to the lore. It has something to do with the game. And the game could be getting darker as it goes, making sense for why the Krill are moving in. I think it would go very well with the solo duo squad format, just like everything else. But I'd say a max of probably like 50 to 75 people. There's no way you're fitting 100 people on one of these gear servers, and let alone, it, that would just be... You know, I'd like them to do a beta of that just so, just so we can fucking see what that would be like. That would be something. Overall, a lot of people think something has to go for that to come in. The question is, what are we ready to get rid of? I can think of multiple game modes, arms race I wouldn't mind losing, 2v2 against AI, co-op against AI I don't care about, Guardian, we can get rid of that. Obviously a lot of people are into Horde, and obviously a lot of people are into the basic team deathmatch, 2v2 Nashers, Escalation, Execution, those all need to stay, but everything else you can kind of drop if you need to make room for this. And that's the thing, a lot of people think you need to drop Horde to do this. If that's the case, then don't do it, because a large, hardcore, loyal part of the Gears fan base is just there for Horde. 
Dropping Horde will cause the game to suffer greatly. The community as a whole, both the competitive multiplayer side and the Horde community both need each other because we both feed in and support the coalition with their funds to make these awesome games. If one half dies, the other half is going to crumble shortly after. We feed off of each other. Should the coalition venture into unknown territory with this battle royale idea? I don't know. With great risk comes great reward. At the same time, if they put all their resources in one basket and this thing fucking sucks, it could do them in, it could do a lot of damage for the company. Same time, say if it's some big fucking success, it could propel them even further. There's one thing I do know though, no matter what the game is, I'm gonna be buying it, I'm gonna be playing it. This your boy Body Hit Productions here. I'm getting out of here. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. I wanna hear from you guys, let me know what you think. Let me know what your opinion is on this battle royale craze.